The fact of the matter is that the day Robin was killed in a tragic car accident, she was on her way to IUPUI in Indianapolis for a student success conference that morning. So even in the last day of her life, she was focused on student excellence and she was going to be meeting with administrators from the entire IU system to focus on strategies for improving student success. She could connect to anybody and I think that's what made her a phenomenal teacher um, and a phenomenal administrator and a phenomenal parent. Whatever she was doing, teaching, administration, she was doing it for students and to make their experience better. I can't tell you how many high school teachers I've met in Northwest Indiana who say, ah, I took, you know, Dr. Hass Berkey's grammar class years ago and I remember that class. I just think I might have taught you too, but you don't remember my class. I mean, there are people, you know, you miss. We all do that. Uh, but there are others you miss that you just know that there's a hole in your life and it's going to be there and it's going to be there until you're gone. The day that we found out that Robin had died, I ran into Chuck in the hallway and we just stood there and hugged each other and cried because we knew that we had both lost not just an incredible colleague, but an amazing friend. I was just stunned. I remember coming down to her funeral and driving down from Chicago and thinking about her the whole way and just how much of a loss it was and how I, I didn't expect it to be such a loss. It was a colleague, but I felt like we were friends in a, in a way that I didn't realize was more significant till later. It was a huge loss for our campus. I miss her every day. I mean, I think about it, you know, all the time. I miss sitting at my desk and her coming to my door and, and having conversations about just random things, be it hockey, Canada, literature, French, whatever. Really good teachers are really good leaders, and Robin was a phenomenal leader. She had the respect of the highest levels of administration, both here at IU Northwest as well as throughout the IU system, and she never lost the respect of the faculty members. Uh, I don't think anybody ever didn't get along with Robin, and I think that's one of the things that's really missed um, uh, with her absence is just how well she was able to mediate between a lot of different kinds of people. Robin was one of those rare people who could keep literally one foot on each side of the fence and just be s smooth and seamless um, back and forth. She never forgot really that she was, whatever she was doing, teaching, administration, she was doing it for students and to make their experience better. She was quick with a joke, definitely, all the time, but also very serious when she spoke up. People listened to what she had to say. She was able to connect with everyone. I remember when I first got hired here full time, one of the other things that swayed me was sitting down to talking to her and she said, well, you know, as a department, we don't have ranks. We talk about ranks, we have to have them, but everybody's equal in what you say at department meetings and and at department parties and decisions, and she was right, I and mean, she was really clear about that. People were always willing to work with her on groups because they knew she would pull her weight, she would tell it like it is, um, and she, it would be fun to do it. Nobody really turned her down. It was hard to say no to Robin. You, you always wanted to do something more because you knew she would go the extra mile. On the day of Robin's funeral, I came a few minutes late to my one o'clock class, and I said, you know, I'm sorry, uh, you know, I was at a funeral, uh, uh, Robin Haas Berkey's funeral was today, and uh, she was a teacher in the English department, and that's why I was late, and a woman in my class interrupted me, and she said, no, she wasn't a teacher in the English department, she was a great teacher in the English department. I got to see her teach several times and sitting in her classes was really an experience. She had this gift to explain these very difficult concepts in English poetry, old English poetry, not just English poetry, but stuff way back to our students in a way that could reach them and, uh, and inspire them. She was put people at ease and also kind of put them on their, you know, led them to their best performance. You know, I think that's how one of the ways in which she was a, a great teacher was that she simultaneously expected a, a great deal from her students, but also helped them understand ways to get where she wanted them to get and opened up her house to help them. You know, she used to 
host her students at her house not infrequently in, in preparations for exams and whatnot. It struck me then how dedicated she was as a teacher. I don't know many teachers who invite students over just to work on things. I met teachers who invite people over for a, like a celebratory dinner at the end of a semester with grad students, but not many people who say like, uh, for the next five Saturdays, you can come and invade my living room and I'll sit and work with you, even though I don't personally get anything out of it except for the joy of helping students. That to me is a sign of a great teacher and to be honest, just a good person. The deepest impression that Robin left for people was the importance of focusing on our students. We often get caught up in trying to get the syllabus right, trying to get our tests right, and she always brought it back to her students. What was it that would serve her students the best? She was so passionate about improving every day. I think that's actually what made her such a great teacher. It was so much fun to be around her because everything was something that she thought, I can learn something new about this and I can apply it. She was not a fair weather professor, you know. She really lived it and talked about it all the time. Her, her commitment to students was unparalleled. She was a teacher's teacher, you know. Uh, she loved every moment of it. I remember once we went to a conference together and we had been at the conference all day and we were just pooped. We went out to dinner and then we were coming back and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go to bed. And she said, well, I'm going over to Starbucks and grade, I'm going to grade some papers. And I'm like, you're kidding me. It's, uh, it's all day. And she's like, no, they, they have to get this feedback so they can use it for the next, you know. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> that, that was kind of the epitome for me because... I was all about going to bed, and she was all about, no, I'm still a teacher. Teacher first, got to do that. <laughs> she had this great laugh and just had a way to make you just feel really relaxed. And, and, and uh, wanted, you just wanted to talk to her because of that. Uh, she was always smiling and, and fun. Um, and she was so full of personality and energy and just sort of remarkably open and candid and smart and funny. When you met her, you didn't have to know her for more than about five minutes and you were her friend. And she made everybody feel that way. It didn't matter whether you were her student, whether you were her colleague, whether you were a parent on her son's little league team. She was just a lot of fun to be around. Uh, and it didn't make any difference what the setting was, whether it was professional, whether it was social. Uh, she was kind of like the same person it seemed to be in all these kinds of contexts. So it just made it easy. If you ever were down and you wanted to be up, you go talk to her for a little while and you felt a whole lot better, just like that. Robin was always very, very high energy. And we used to joke that it was probably because of all the coffee that she drank. Robin loved coffee. In fact, I have a poem in my office that she wrote about coffee. That's one of the reasons she was stopping in people's office so much because she was moving back and down, down, down the hall to find the coffee pot and just stopping along the way and saying hi. Robin would often, you know, kind of stop by my office on her way going to the English office and she was always so passionate and so enthusiastic about her projects and the conferences and what she was writing about and the research that she was doing. Yeah, coffee was like, uh, I don't think she could have survived without it. You know, I mean, she, it was like what made her go. But that just added, I think, to her energy, to her personality, to her laugh, to her love of life. I mean, that's what she did. She loved life. Honoring Robin is a, is a no-brainer. Uh, you're honoring one of the top educators that I think this university has ever produced. And one of the top just teachers in general that I've ever seen in my life anywhere. And by putting her name on the things that we do, not only is it honoring her for the service that she gave and for the life that she lived, but it's also uh, reminding us to be exactly like her and emulate the things that she did in the classroom and out of the classroom. And I think it's very important. For me, the best ways to honor Robin are to be the best you can be every day. I actually frequently do walk by the Hasbrookie Center and touch the touch the plaque on the wall <laughs> and it just makes me um, feel a little bit closer to her and and it reminds me you know sometimes when I'm having a bad day that that's okay but that uh, tomorrow 
um, a need to come back at it the same way she would, which was, you know, um, with love in her heart and with caring and uh, with determination. There's always a handful, I think you remember, who change your life in some significant way. I think she's one of those. A person like Robin only comes around once in a while, and, and because of that, it's important to remember her. You just wanted to be around her. You felt better uh, about what you did. You felt better about the day. You felt better simply being in their presence. I mean, that's what I remember. As teachers, we have the ability to change our world. We have the ability to impact students in a way that no one else can. It matters what we do. It matters that we're good teachers. It matters that we take those gifts and we share them with other people. And that's what Robin Has Berkey modeled for me.